Hey guys, on today's video, I'm taking a look at your Apple TV app. So let's get started. Let's just open it up. And then from here, you're going to see search on the bottom all the way to the right. Just going to search. Under search, you can see whatever movies you would like to buy. For example, if we put Harry Potter. So from here, you're going to see collections, individual movies. But you can always select the second option. It's just going to show you movies. Then it's going to show you TV shows. We're just going to go to the start. So if you just want to buy one movie and not the whole collection, you could just tap on it. And you're going to see the options where you can rent it or buy it. But sometimes they're also streaming somewhere. So you can also put open in. So if we tap there on open in, you're going to see that it's available in other services such as Crave app or right here on Telus. So they are streaming there. However, if you do that, then you're not really buying the movie. You're just streaming it from those applications. So I just want to show you that before we keep going. Let's just go back. But if you would like to buy a whole collection, then you could look at this one, for example, there's 10 or this one that there's 11 here. But the price, if you take a look at both of them, the same price, might as well get the 11. And if you want to buy all of these, just tap on buy down here below. Once you do that, it's going to prompt you to just double click to pay if you're doing this from your phone. And then that's it. You actually have it right now. You can play it at any point in time. So it's actually extremely fast to do this. If you would like to see the movies that you purchased, just go right into your library. That's your second last option. And then from here, just tap on movies. For example, we're going to see all the movies that we just purchased from this collection. But I also want to highlight that you're going to see every other movie that you purchased before, such as I, here I have Matrix. So that's something I bought from before. I can go back and I can take a look at TV shows and other stuff right here as well. But anyways, that's where you guys can see the movies and enjoy them. Once again, the exact same steps will be done on your iPad if you're doing this from your iPad. And if you're doing this from your actual Apple TV, if you have the device, it's going to be very, very similar. But as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.